Hi, I'm Tom Miggett from Tom Miggett Photography. This is our third episode in the series of the new features that come with the brand new Adobe Lightroom 5 that's been released about 10 days ago. In the previous episodes, we covered the smart previews and the spot removal tool. If you haven't watched the, ser the episodes, here are the links. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about the brand new shiny feature in Lightroom 5, and it's called the radial filter. So let's dive in. Uh, that feature can be found within the develop module and it's between the graduated filter and the adjustment brush. It's the circle icon here. Uh, when you click on it, you can notice that all the effects listed there are actually identical to adjustment brush, uh, with the exception then of the brush settings, of course. And what the radial filter enables you to do is to change um, different zone within your image. So, for example, this picture, which I used as an example in the previous video for the spot removal, you can clearly see that my daughter and my wife's face are both underexposed and not that great, and I wouldn't print this image. Uh, so how could I actually uh, bring some light from the shadows uh, in those two faces? I could clearly do it with the adjustment brush. That's not a problem. But today I want to talk to you about the radial filter. So the way it works is basically you will drag a circle and that's, I think that should be okay. And then you start moving it around the zone you want to change. So interestingly, the way the, um, the, the radial filter works, it mainly it first focuses on the outside of the circle and not the inside. So let's say if I wanted to bring the shadows up, Right, and brighten them. As you can see, what is changing is basically the entire um, picture except my circle. So in order to uh, invert the process, all I need to do is basically tick that invert, uh, invert mask. And here you go. So you saw if I click it, my daughter's face remains black, but the rest is brightened. If I click it, my daughter's face lit up and the rest remains the same. So that's one first effect. Let's say I want to apply this same setting to my wife's face. Uh, I could drag and I could create another circle. That's not a problem. There's a cool feature as well that you need to know. Uh, if you do an, if you press Alt on the Mac or Option and Command, uh, and it would be Control on the PC, and then you click on the first uh, radial filter zone that you created and you drag it to another zone, you'll say actually what you're doing is you basically created a copy of your first one. The first one remains and then you can just uh, adjust the uh, the size. The good thing with the radial tool is that you can really adjust the shape as long as it remains roundish. So you say you can really uh, come up with some really interesting uh, size uh, and shape. So here it is. I think that should be good enough, just bring it like this and maybe a hint of okay not too much because we want to remain uh, natural and this is it and then you press enter and you have it so just to hide those uh, two buttons you can actually press on the H key and this is it so if we can if we toggle so you remember it's here if we toggle um, that button here is going to bring off the effect that we just applied this was before, this is now. Another cool thing about this uh, radial is you can create vignetting. So uh, you remember there was a tool uh, in Lightroom and it was at the bottom uh, and it was um, post-production vignetting. And in fact, uh, it's still there, uh, but you can also do it using the uh, radial filter. So let's say I create a new filter. Oh, I need to press on H. Uh, to make the filter appear. And let's say I wanted to do, it doesn't really apply here, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it here, but if I wanted to make a, um, a vignetting on, uh, around my wife and daughter, I could just do this, and now I would say, okay, um, that vignetting, I'm going to make it then darker, right? And here you go. That's how you can make a vignetting, and then you can adjust that, right? I mean, obviously it's too high, so I could lower it like this, and then move it down, and um, 
and then if I just want to focus on the highlights and I could actually change the feathering as well and there you go that's how you can make vignetting or apply multiple uh, changes within your image uh, totally independently from one to another um, as I say it's it's a new tool to me would I actually use it I don't know I like the it's a quick tool uh, I like the idea of the adjustment brush and just using it to paint wherever I want to apply like uh, like I've seen I've shown you in a video last year describing the entire Lightroom uh, tool uh, here's the link if you uh, didn't see it and it's still accurate still up to date um, so that's it for today. Uh, this is the radio tool. Until next time, this is Tommy Good saying, if you like it, well, capture it, maybe edit it in Lightroom 5, and you might be using, well, the radio tool. Ciao.